hi guys and welcome back to my channel no it's been a while i always say that in every single video but i've been doing real life shit like actually working your girl has been working but i've not seen you guys in a while um i have not been on here in a while i did go live i think last week the the day of christmas yes i went live the day of christmas today is a new year okay we are in 2022 let me know some of y'all resolutions i know a couple of mine that i gave up but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna be using the la girl brow gel i'm going back to gel because i kind of miss it um i used to do gel in the beginning and kind of just stopped and then moved on to pencil but i kind of like the precision of gel so hopefully this one works i've bought like three of these like i didn't want to do soft black because i thought like maybe it was going to be like too dark for me but then i um what was i going to say but then i freaking did like the the light brown and then that just was not dark enough so yeah but we're gonna go ahead and do our brows using the la girl this one is in soft black so let's see how this works Okay, now that I have my brows filled in, I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Concealer. This is um, the Double Wear. It's in the shade um, Extra Deep. I, I bought the Estee Lauder a couple weeks ago and I have not been able to use it because literally I do not do my makeup anymore because I work from home now and it's just no point. I mean, I get out of bed and just kind of go to work type of thing, so... I know I can't multitask, talk to y'all, and do this at the same time, so I'm picking to do this. Um, and then I'll come back and talk to you guys. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that I have my brows filled in, they are pretty thick. I'm not used to them being this thick, but I do like the brow gel. Like the brow gel, I love the fact that it was like super simple for me to just kind of trace out where I wanted my brows and just fill them in. So this will be getting used a lot more because I'm definitely a fan of that. So today I wanted to do something very simple because, oh my goodness, everything's just falling. But I wanted to do something simple because for me, one of my biggest issues or one of my biggest things is I cannot do simple makeup. Like yesterday, I went to my friend's house to spend New Year's Eve with her and her family. And they had on makeup, but it was very simple and very, very beautiful. And I just like, here I am with all this extraness. So two reasons I want to learn how to do the simpleness. I need to learn how to do it because I work in an environment that is very old school corporate type of thing you know so the colors probably is not going to work on the eyes anymore but then also when i go out i just need something super quick super simple to just kind of toss on and be on my way i started looking for something i get distracted sometimes um but yeah this is why i need to learn how to do it so we're gonna go ahead and try to figure this out today together you know me and you okay so to start I'm going to use the concealer, the same concealer that I just used under my brows. I'm going to use it on my eyes too. I see a lot of makeup artists doing this, but I'm going to try it and see. Normally, I will use my Anastasia primer, um, which I think would be great for when you're doing color, but you know, not so much when you're doing basics. I think when you do basics, you want everything to look very cohesive and all in one and together. So we're going to try this and see how this works. Y'all just bear with me because I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Uh, I think that's a part of makeup, not knowing what you're doing a lot of the times. But you just pray for the best. Um, and, yeah, I hope it comes out good. So I wanted my concealer under my eyes to be very natural. Um, I know people go in with, like, a lighter concealer, and that's cool and everything nothing against you i just prefer mine to be a little bit more natural every so often i'll go in and you know make it pop out a little bit more um but i also feel like the eyeshadows i do too they also make it my under eye pop as well now to set that concealer in place i'm going to be going in with my fenty um uh, honey powder and i'm just going to push that in there and just get everything it. I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing y'all so don't don't hold my feet to the fire until we get to like the very end you know if it comes out great then yeah I knew exactly what I was doing the whole entire time if it comes out horrible I didn't know what I was doing so don't judge me okay I'm just kind of wing it in here again I want to work on my natural eyeshadow looks now we're going to go in with some eyeshadow. I don't know which eyeshadow we're going to be using, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to look and see. So I want like a very deep shade of brown. So I'm going to be using this. This is the uh, Beauty Bakery. I believe these are called Snackaroons. Don't give me the lion. I think that's what these are called. But I got this one in Target. I was going to use it to bronze, um, but it was too deep. But again, you know, we'll see what happens today. But I'm going to use this on um, the outer corner of my eyes. Oh my goodness, I cannot see. Y'all, I am blind, like blind, blind, and I cannot see. So I'm going to try to just use that here because I want just a very soft brown look. Again, we're trying to do something very, very soft, um, giving us very matte, natural look i don't know what i'm talking about just kind of just kind of roll with me for now okay but we're gonna see what just kind of pops off with this that's a pretty brown i actually like this base like this base is very very pretty you know like the concealer and that uh setting powder like it just kind of all goes together it just looks very good. And I like to kind of bring mine out a little bit. Y'all know that. Hopefully y'all can see. But I like to kind of bring my shadows out a smidge. Same thing on the other eye. Starting just out here. 
with that deeper shade. Just working that in. Working that into the outer corner. Normally I would go in with like a black, but again, I'm trying to work on my naturalness, okay? diffuse that like a little bit more because it is a smidget harsh just like a little bit so I just want to diffuse it a little bit more okay now I'm gonna take this palette right here this is the car beauty palette absolutely love these palettes my palette's a little ghetto and rinky dink but the glitters I don't even use the glitters like I don't know let me say that right I don't normally use glitters but I love these pressed glitters down here at the bottom I think they are just gorgeous okay so every once in a while i'll use those as well but i'm gonna be taking the light brown that's in there and i'm just gonna diffuse these edges just a little bit because to me they are a little bit harsh but if you like it like this then you're more than welcome to just you know continue i'm just gonna diffuse them just a little bit because i don't like it to be that harsh Okay, and I'm also going to just kind of bring that in just right here towards like the arch. It just makes it so much softer, you know, like we love a good soft mat. That is really, really pretty, y'all. Oh my goodness. Let me, let me find out. I'm not going to be using the regular Anastasia primer no more. We're going back to concealer. Let me find out. Okay. Okay. This might actually work. Okay. And I'm just, like I said, I'm diffusing the edges because I hate a harsh edge. Like, I just don't like that at all. that's really pretty and really soft and honestly if we're being quite honest i don't even think i'm gonna go in with any shadow here because the fenty powder has kind of made its own little shadow if you guys can see so i'll probably just go into the inner corners and highlight but i feel like this is very natural and i likes it i am going to go back in with that um beauty bakery brown and just kind of you know deepen up the edges again because y'all know i live for a very deep edge so I'm just going to pat this right here on that edge right here. But not taking that too far in. Once again, going back and forth. So a lot of my shadows are just literally back and forth between one shadow to the next. We literally just kind of work back and forth until we get it blended to where we want it to be who the hell is we all right you and your multiple damn personalities lord have mercy i'm talking about until we get it i'm talking y'all like you and me okay until we get it where we want it to be period but this is i think that eyeshadow is so cute i like it like this just a natural shadow i think i'm good like I said, I'm probably going to add a color to the inner corner just to make that pop a little bit. But from what I'm seeing, y'all, this might actually be it. So kind of diffuse that again. I just don't like the harsh edgeness to it. Like, harsh edges are not my thing. So, yeah. This is the most simplistic eyeshadow I've ever done in my whole entire life. And I keep going back and I'm looking like... Oh my goodness, like there should be way more steps than this. That it should totally, I don't know. It's not normal for me. It's not something I'm used to. This right here is the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, try to put it in the camera. There you go. It looks like that. Um, and I like this. It's the poreless. So I actually like the way that this feels. And I went out to, I'll tell y'all, we went out to like a, a stripper show. And this lasted like all night. Real girl was not oily, you know. Like, 
which is surprising because I'm always oily, but surprisingly, that night I was not. So yeah, I use this as a primer. If you guys don't have a primer, definitely use or get you a primer. It is super duper important, okay? Make sure you get your primer. Okay, I'm going in with the Estee Lauder foundation. I don't even know if I've done an actual review on this on the channel, um, but I haven't used it. This is like my second time using it. So this is what I'm going to blend into my skin. And this color, let me look and see what color it is. The color is 6W2 or Nutmeg, and it's the Double Wear Foundation. But the first time that I did use it, I was like super surprised that um, that it was like a match and it was so natural and looking at the very end. I knew somebody who I used to work with, I'll tell y'all that, I knew somebody who I used to work with who wore Estee Lauder and her skin was just always so damn beautiful. I didn't even know she wore makeup until she told me, but I was like, girl, I thought that was your skin. That's how good it looks. Like, it looks amazing. And I'm not even using, like, a whole bunch of, like, I just used a little bit on the back of my hand. I also love how lightweight this is. I already tell y'all that, but it's super lightweight compared to the Juvia's. I know y'all want to fight me over that, but yeah, it's super lightweight. I just love a good lightweight foundation that you're able to build up if you need to, but um, I feel like when you do foundation, I would rather be able to build up my foundation than to just go in and it be super thick because it's kind of hard to recover from that, but like if you're able to, to build it up, I think that is perfect. So with this, we can keep, you know, building on top of us and keep getting it to go up, up, up if need be. Okay, I'm going to use the double wear again, just out here on the outer portion on my forehead right here. Then my nose, my nose, I'm going to go back in in a second and kind of mess with that. But I am going to go into the inner corners over here with this NARS. Y'all know the NARS is the circuit Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce nothing, okay? It's just the small one. And I flip-flop between the liquid and the cream. I like them both, but I just kind of go back and forth between them. I am, while this is kind of setting for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes. So give me a second and then I'll come back and we'll blend all of this in. Okay, so now that we have the lashes applied, these are a little thick um, than what I would normally do, but whatever. We're just going to go in and we're going to blend out our under eye. So just blend that out. And I'm really trying to learn like the UK baddies stuff like I love how the UK baddies do their makeup like it is so cute something about being in the UK like I'm like when you're in the UK your makeup is automatically bomb I don't know how I don't know which products they use over there but it just it's so damn bomb like it's just amazing so probably gonna go in with the NARS a little bit more um because I do want that to be a little bit brighter under my eyes I'm probably gonna go in and just brighten that up a little bit more but right now I'm just going to use this just to kind of blend that out a little bit. So I always start with like a brush and then I go in with my sponge just to make sure that it's like blended, blended, you know what I'm saying? Like extremely blended. But I am, like I said, I am going to go in now with the cream NARS if I can find it. Where is my cream NARS? There we go. Okay, and I just gotta find a brush to apply it. I got so much shit, it don't make no damn sense. How much shit I got, like it's crazy. Okay, so this is the cream NARS. It's still in the same color as like the liquid NARS, the sucker de orange color. But I'm just gonna go in under here and just brighten that up. 
because I really, really, really love a good bright under eye. That is just my thing. And the UK baddies be having that too. Um, so I'm just going to go in and just blend that out under my eye too. And I like to look up because I have like a little bit of the creases and the crevices under there. I don't know if you guys can see them, but um, I like to just make sure that that's all blended as well. Okay. Now we're going to go in and we're going to use our cream contour stick. This is from Julia's Place. And we're just going to contour our face. Okay. and just kind of make that very very slim honey bunches of oats now this is something I normally don't do but I seen another girl do it and it came out very cute let me see what her her YouTube name is hang on um, she happens to be on my little page so I was like mm, that's cute okay so her name is Ashley Dior um, and I really liked how it came out in the very end so I am going to try it this way so going back to what is it this right here this is the uh double wear by estee lauder and i'm just gonna highlight up under here normally i would use a setting powder to do this but we're gonna see how this looks so let's go ahead and blend all of this out I like the Estee Lauder foundation like it just it came on like very wet as you guys can see but it's drying now like really really cute so yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and just first blend this portion out which is which is the Estee Lauder oh my goodness I can't speak today I can't really do like a, a story time today guys because um yeah like I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm about to do with my face so once we get the the new foundation routine and stuff down then I'll be more than happy to go in and you know do the extras okay so now that the Estee Lauder is blended out now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my contour and I'm just patting that into my skin I'm going to use my buffing brush to just get all of this blend it and this still has like my foundation on there so I'm just using whatever's left over to go in and just blend everything into one okay I like I like I like okay so then I'm gonna just blend out my nose so another interesting thing that she did was she actually did not put down the highlight first for the nose portion, she put down the contour first and then went in with the highlight. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So we're gonna try that today as well, just to see. And I'm bringing this into like my brows a little bit because I want it to look as natural as possible. Yes, I know it's probably not going to look uber natural because yeah, like we, we making it do what it do right now so of course it's not but I'm gonna take a little bit of um, concealer and I'm just going to brighten up my nose a little bit now normally I don't use this one but we're gonna try it today I normally don't use it because it's a little bit too bright for the nose portion but I'm gonna try it and see so hold on hold on, hold on. I'm like, I have to be focused. I can't see. I'm sorry, y'all can't see. I'll show you guys. 
Okay, so I'm just applying that to the center of my nose, but I'm also kind of bringing it up as well into the forehead region. Not really forehead region, but like this part in between my brows, because I feel like when you turn your head either way, it just kind of makes it help to, to blend in, if that makes sense. So I'm just basically tracing out like how thick I want my nose bridge to be. If you want it like over thin like this, then you can just leave it the first way I had it. If not, then just kind of go in and thicken up that line like you guys see me doing. Well, you probably don't see me doing it, but I'll show you. Okay, so I went in and I thickened up that line a little bit. And now we're just going to blend that out. I love the fact that she used like a brush to blend it instead of using a sponge because I do feel like when you use a sponge it does kind of just you know um what do I want to say it kind of like widens it up a little bit that the part that's the lightest kind of widens so I love the fact that she used a brush to blend it out and I'm just going to do the same so I'm going to start up here at the top just blending that and then going down the nose I'm trying to make sure this is as straight as possible because sometimes it don't be. You know, when you're trying to get yourself a fake nose, you want it to be as straight as possible. Okay. That actually looks 10 times better. Of course, you got to blend out the sides. but That actually looks a lot better than what the hell I was doing. And I'm just using um, that sponge, same sponge that I used to like contour. Just kind of going in and now just, you know, doing my thing with it. Okay, so now that we have everything in place, I'm now going to go in and set with the Fenty Beauty just under here, those little areas. And then I will use my Lord Mercy Air to set under my eyes because I do want that to appear just a smidget brighter than everything else, if that makes sense. Um, so here is the Fenty first, and I'm just going to apply that back here, and I'm kind of like just brushing that into the skin, brushing it all in now, making sure we set. Anything I don't want to be like uber bright, I'm setting that with um, the Fenty. The Fenty Honey is a little bit darker, it's a little dimmer. So I'm just setting all of that in place. Oh, I do got some powder in the corner of my mouth. Okay, let's go in with our Laura Mercy Air. I love a good set under the eyes, baby. Laura is that girl. Like you, I feel like if you know how to use her, like Laura is that girl, honey. She's just everything, okay? She just gets you to go. But look, look how bright that under eye is baby. Laura is that girl, honey.
Okay, I'm now going to use my, what is this? This is my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. Y'all know I don't really use this too much because um, I'm just not a big fan of the red undertone. But we're going to try it today because, again, we're trying to do something very simple. So I really don't want like to wear a lot of blush today if I don't have to, you know. So I'm just going in. And basically setting anywhere that I contour, if that makes sense. So anywhere I apply the contour, I'm now going in and I'm setting that with the Mocha Mommy. If you guys have made it here, Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Because I want this to pop a little bit, I'm going to go in with this LA Colors Jumbo Pencil. And I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my bottom lash line. Don't worry, I can't even get it out. But I'm going to add like a little bit of color to this. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a pop, a little bit of color. I guess LA Colors and LA Girl are not the same company. I felt like they were, but I guess they're not. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna apply my uh, mascara, which I use the Maybelline mascara, but we are almost done. Um, just gotta do our lips and our gloss and I'll come back. Okay, so y'all know what time it is. Y'all know which liner I always freaking use. This is the, the LA Girl Pro Precision Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. It's my favorite pencil. I use it all the time and I always do nude lips. There will never be a time I probably do color on my lips. Let me not say that. There may be a time. Um, but as of right now, just it's, it's never gonna happen. No, mm -mm. But let's go ahead and line our lips. Okay, this is the Pink Cosmo Lip Gloss. I'm just going to apply that. Okay, I'm gonna go in over top of that with the um, lavish from what is this Milani don't ask me why I do it backwards I just do because like I really hate the way um, what you call that matte like those liquid mattes fill on my lips. I just hate it, so I always do it backwards. I always do like the gloss first, then I put the matte on top, so that way, like the matte is still glossy, if that makes sense. Like I don't like the way mattes fill on my lips. Okay, so this is pretty much it. We just gonna blend out my under eyes now, cause they've been baking for a little hot minute. Um, so I'm just gonna blend all of that out. I was thinking I may highlight my nose, but Honestly, I think I've also kind of grown out of it a little bit, but I may just do like a little one too. I don't know, just like a little bit. 
and just making sure that that's all blended in and then like I said just I think I am going to add like a little bit of blush because right now I don't have any on so I'm just going to put some on this is the MAC I believe it's in the shade Raisin if I'm not mistaken but just to add like a little bit of color to my face just going to add like a little bit of blush Okay, and then I also wanted to kind of just highlight my nose just very, very, very lightly, not even a lot, just a little bit. Let me see. I'm to find a brush to do it. This thing got hot in here. I can't see that far. And what I'm using to um, highlight, this is actually from um, Grafton Cosmetics, this right here. They sent me this like a couple years ago, but it's, uh, what type of highlight is this? It has like a pink kind of tone to it. It's a baked mineral highlight. Grafton Cosmetics is a private label company, I believe. I don't think they sell to the general public, but um, yeah, I absolutely adore that highlight i'm kind of thinking i should probably go into my inner corners with it yeah let's go let's do it and see what happens let's go into the inner corners as well so just to give me like a little bit more of a highlight just kind of popping off a little bit okay there we go and this is the finished look. Hang on, let me fix my hair and I'll come back and show y'all for real, for real. Oh, I'm actually going to set. Make sure you set. I'm going to set using the Urban Decay because it's just sitting here. So, yeah. Okay. Then just kind of let that dry. And I'll come back and I'll show you guys the finished result. All right, guys. So here we are. This is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.